not only in Marina del Rey, but then they moved here to Venice. But there was something different about this location, and that's because of my guest, Paul Marco, who heard the sound of glass breaking and didn't hesitate to jump into action. You jump into action, literally. You see them breaking into the neighborhood restaurant here, and this suspect, and it was all caught on camera, you're gonna see that video right now, literally jumps into the yeah, pretty much. Uh, the second I got up the window, we jumped through and right up the house. Well, what happened next? Uh, we just took a little tumble down the street here, ended up getting control over the muscle and uh, sat on top of the cold house water. What was he saying to you during all of this time? Uh, please let me go. Please let me go. Please, please, please. Uh, I didn't want to go. He's begging you to let him go. Yeah. Now we've since learned that this suspect, and we've got some video of the suspect being taken by paramedics just to be checked out, that standard protocol. He was not necessarily injured, but they have to check him out. Uh, you see that suspect exclusive video you're only going to see on Fox 11 and Good Day LA, that suspect being taken into custody. Neighbors here in Venice, in Marina del Rey, just, people are just tired of these smash and grabs of these businesses being targeted. Absolutely. Um, a big part of the problem with these areas is the second the sun goes down, the tourists are gone, the police go with them. Um, it pretty much creates an atmosphere where the citizens of Venice are on their own. Um, I was wrestling with that guy for you know, 20, 25 minutes at least, you know, before officers showed up. And it's just, you know, they, as soon as the tourists are gone, they don't really seem to be too concerned with the people that live Thankfully, all the suspects are in custody. One of them, thanks to you, Paul Markham, and it's noteworthy to mention that Paul was head of security for some of the most top heavy metal bands ever, so he knew exactly what he was doing. Tackle that suspect. Suspect was not injured. And coming up on Good Day LA, we're going to talk about all the other businesses that were burglarized overnight. We're talking about small businesses and big ones like Ulta and Starbucks in Marina Del Rey. But again, breaking news, all three suspects are in police custody. Reporting live in Venice, I'm Gigi Graciette. Back to you.